Daryl Anodizing is a vital part of Cola Daryl Limited. Designers and producers of hand-built luxury showering enclosures, bath screens and multi-spray showers and part of the worldwide Cola organization. Daryl invested in its own anodizing plant in 1979. Anodizing is a technical, complicated process which demands exceptionally tight control of procedures to ensure the outstanding quality needed by the discerning customer. We developed our own in-house control to ensure that we can maintain high levels of productivity without compromising on quality. This video will take you around our 76,000 square foot anodizing factory in Skelmersdale, Lancashire. We will guide you through the anodizing process, from the raw aluminium extrusion to the end result of high quality, polished anodized metal. So why do we need to anodize? Aluminium alloy is the perfect material for shower door frames because it can be extruded into complex shapes, is mechanically strong and does not rust. The downside is that it loves to combine with oxygen in the air and this usually manifests itself as an unsightly blob on the surface which multiplies and spoils the appearance. You've probably seen this effect on some greenhouses and caravan bodies although it doesn't affect the structure as rust would do. We stop this happening by covering the entire surface in an even layer of aluminium oxide by the anodizing process and this covers the surface in a glass-like, transparent anodic film. Before we receive the aluminium into our anodizing plant, it has to go through the extrusion process in an extrusion factory. Darrell specifies high grades of aluminium alloy for extrusions to achieve a more consistent finish after it has gone through the anodizing process. This extrusion process can be compared to squeezing toothpaste out of a toothpaste tube. If we change the tube shape for, say, a triangle, then the shape is called a die and a triangular extrusion is produced. Aluminium is, of course, not soft like toothpaste, so first it must be heated up. It is important that it is heated to exactly the right point between the solid and liquid state, where it becomes a pliable, plastic-like material. The heated aluminium is forced through dyes to produce long strips of dull grey aluminium extrusions in shapes and sizes unique to Darrell. This cools very quickly and hardens into the specific shape that we have designed for our products. Minor irregularities on the die edges leave draw lines along the extrusion length, so the surface of the aluminium can never be purely smooth at this stage. The end result is streaks and lines that are undetectable to touch, but if we were to look at the aluminium under a microscope, the surface appearance would be like a series of mountains and valleys. When the extruded aluminium arrives for treatment, the metal is grey in appearance and known as mill finish. The metal is then cut, moulded and drilled to suit the specific needs for our products. So how do we take these mill finish extrusions and transform them into shower products? Well, this is where the Daryl anodizing process begins, with mechanical polishing. Because mill finish extrusions are dull, grey and unattractive, it's usual to improve this before anodizing. We choose to first mechanically polish the surface to make it brighter. Daryl Anodizing have large flatbed mechanical polishers where the metal is polished with rollers of industrial cloth. The mechanical polishers move the cloth rapidly over the aluminium in multiple directions, flattening the peaks on the surface and producing a more even finish. We also have hand polishers suitable for smaller items such as hinges, handles and towel rails. After the mechanical polishing, the profiles are stacked on felt-coated spacers. We can already see a bright finish on the exterior of the metal. The profiles are then loaded onto specially designed frames called jigs in a line parallel to the anodizing tanks. Even the jigs must be of top quality and are made from titanium 
as these are now going to be dipped into hot acid. The jigs move along the line and transfer to the anodizing line where they pass through the process one jig at a time, starting with chemical brightening. There are 26 tanks in total at Darrell Anodizing. The first four are used for the chemical brightening process. The chemicals literally eat into the surface of the aluminium and the prime purpose for chemical brightening is to minimise irregularities in the metal surface and to brighten the parts that metal polishing cannot reach. Darrell Anodizing check the process every hour after each production run and top up the brightening chemical in the first tank to the required standard level so we can guarantee there will be no brightening variations. This pays dividends in quality control and the absolute necessity to control this operation is one of the key reasons that we anodize in-house. If we were to examine the surface of the aluminium under a microscope now, we would see the mechanical polishing process has smoothed the surface, whilst the chemical process has eaten away at the irregularities in the difficult to reach areas. The mountains and valleys have virtually disappeared and we are starting to get an ultra-smooth, ultra-bright finish already on the exterior of the metal. The next part of the process is the actual anodizing. The anodizing stage essentially consists of dipping the profiles into a tank of dilute sulfuric acid and passing electrical currents through the aluminium. Variations in the volts and amps will produce different amounts and different sizes of aluminium oxide crystals, which can produce different degrees of brightness. We maintain quality control by ensuring absolute consistency of volts and amps in the right proportions for the right products. The combination of electrical power and acid produces a honeycomb structure on the aluminium surface. If you look at this under a microscope, it looks like the top of a box of straws. The density of the aluminium, the strength of the acid and the temperature must all be maintained to produce the correct anodizing combination. Remember, the reason for anodizing is to produce a uniform layer over the surface to prevent the future appearance of unsightly random blobs. After the anodizing tank, the profiles then go through four separate tanks of rinsing to keep the metal as clean and as pure as possible. Absolutely clean water is critical, as we do not want to attract any impurities that would later be sealed into the metal. A proportion of the extrusions is diverted for colouring and immersed in a tank filled with hot organic dye of the required colour. These dyes are very similar to those used in clothing manufacturing. The colours are natural and rich, and our process control achieves uniform colour densities. Through capillary action, the pigment is actually sucked up into the honeycombs that have been created through the anodizing process and absorbed into the anodic film. This is why we say anodizing is not a plating or a coating. The final stage of the process is to lower the profiles into almost boiling demineralized water. This enlarges the surface crystals, effectively closing off the top of the honeycombs. The colour has actually been encased in a transparent, glass-hard anodic film. From the initial mechanical polishing, the whole anodizing process takes approximately 45 minutes to run from the very first tank to the final stage of sealing. At the end of the process, the jigs are returned to the jig and unjig line, the profiles are taken off by hand and each item is thoroughly inspected. Any item with scratches or impurities will be rejected. More than three quarters of a million pieces of metal per year are processed through the Darrell anodizing plant. From the grade of aluminium, 
through to our use of both mechanical and chemical brightening, and most importantly, the control of the whole process in-house. These are the elements that all contribute to Darrell's unique selling point. Exceptional quality control to a high standard, ensuring we continue to provide our customers with the quality and consistency of product they expect from Darrell.